Hello guys, many of you have watched my video where I presented the Techograph for ETS2, if you haven't you might check it out. It's a plugin that allows us to play ETS2 according to the Techograph rules of the European Union and it can also be used for American Truck Simulator since it includes driving rules based on American laws as well. If you look at the comments many people praised this plugin and installed it without major issues. But the reason I'm recording another video about the Tachograph is that there are also many people who could not get the plugin to work. That's why in this video we will go through it step by step, in the hope that those who didn't manage to install this plugin before will finally succeed now. So I deleted my Tachograph and we can start from the beginning. First step, click the link in video description and go to download site. 1.7.3 is the newest version, last time I downloaded 1.7 version. Now just simply click on this link and download newest Tachograph plugin. After you download the zip folder, open it and find simple Tachograph English folder and extract it anywhere on your PC. Ok, and this is the folder where our Tachograph application is located. We don't click on it yet. Now open zip folder again. Enter to plugin folder and click on bin folder. Then extract bin folder to your desktop or directly to ETS2 game folder. I copy it to desktop, then I take bin folder and move it to ETS2 local files. Best way to get there is through Steam. And just paste it here. An installation tutorial is example how it should look when everything is ready. So it should look like this. Euro Truck Simulator 2, bin, vinx64, then plugins folder and there should be telemetry file in plugins folder. And that's exactly how it looks in our case. So here is bin, win x64, plugins and there is telemetry file. Now let's start Tachograph application, which is located in Tachograph folder. Here is Tacho, ok, this and this and here we are. European laws for Euro truck. Then you can set if you want speed warning or not. And the important thing is to set a hotkey which you want to use to activate Taho when you are in game. I will use num8 like my hotkey. But of course you can use whatever you want. And now we are ready to start ETS2 to see if everything works well. remains 9 hours of daily driving time. And there it is, by pressing hotkey you get Tachograph information about driving, resting and shift times. And now let's take a look at the possible reasons why the Tachograph isn't working for you, even you have done everything the same way I did. So the first warning is if the game cannot load plugin and in log says this error message, Try to install msvc++, which is located in simple Tachograph zip folder. Then another possible issue is that for its work the program must be running. If you close the program Tachograph will not work, so make sure you don't press the X button in Tachograph application before starting the game. And final third warning is if hotkeys don't work, start Tachograph application as administrator. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about installation of this Tachograph plugin. I really hope you will get it working this time, because Tachograph plugin brings interesting gameplay and realism to ETS. Remains 8 hours 19 minutes of daily driving time.
Thank you guys for watching and see you in another video.